Hi guys. In this video of MATLAB, we are going to see linear convolution with the help of for loop. As we all know, linear convolution formula is given by x of f equals integration of minus infinity to infinity x of tau into h of t minus tau into d tau. The same integration we can convert into for loop. So we'll go through code. The first line explains that whatever the previous output was there command window all the things we have to clear. And in third line we are asking for input. X equals input enter the first sequence. As we know that for convolution we need two sequence. So we'll ask user for two sequence in the form of X and H. Then we'll save the length of x and h in n1 and n2 then we'll find the length of yn yn is nothing but output length that is nothing but the summation of both the lengths minus 1 so y equals n1 plus n2 minus 1 then we have to do zero padding because when we have to perform integration or multiplication the number length should be equal so we'll pad x and h with additional zeros such that both the lengths will be 7 then we have to initialize the entire output length to 0 then we'll use for loop from 1 to capital n capital n is nothing but n1 plus n2 minus 1 so that is 7 so for n equals 1 to 7 and inside a for loop we'll use another for loop for k equals 1 to n that is nothing but multiplication then we have to perform addition so after the for loop we have to display y this y will display the output in linear form then we have to plot the output for that we'll use subplot 3 comma 1 comma 1 that will plot the first sequence whichever input we have given and in the second subplot subplot 3 comma 1 comma 2 will plot the second sequence and in subplot 3 comma 1 comma 3 will plot the convoluted signal for convolution there is an easy method you have to draw a table and on the right our top row you have to mention the first sequence and on the left column you have to write the second sequence then multiply and fill the table you will get the numbers and you have to divide with diagonal lines if you add the numbers you will get convoluted signal the middle line will have maximum value so here I have shown the command window output. First sequence is x of 1, 2, 3, 4 and second sequence is 1, 2, 1, 2. After convolution we got 1, 4, 8, 14, 15 and 10, 8. So this is output. So first input we have shown and second input and the final output.